welcome back guys so in this protractor series uh, we will see today how we can handle the test data as a global object or global parameters so protractor given us an option by using this params keyword we can store the data into this params and then globally we can use across our framework okay so we need not to import anything we can directly use this key value pair so as you can see one small uh, test data i am using so for quick reference i have already added this so we have already discussed about this how we can maintain the test data so there were two ways we have already seen one is json data and another is typescript data so for an uh, recap so this is what we have used so customer.ts file we have used this as a test data and we were importing this particular file into our uh, page object model wherever we need this data and we were accessing but params is something is it's a global variable so we need not to import anything we can directly use this as a key value pair okay so that's what we are going to see and if you see this is kind of a json structure so there is nothing much we can uh, we need a discussion just one thing this is a single key value pair and this customer is having setup data so here you can see this is one setup data and this is another set so this can be an array of data and if we want like uh, this set then we need to loop it now let's see how we can utilize this this data so I have created one spec file if you see here now to access that data we need to use browser.params keyword okay so browsers.params property and then after this the key so as you know this is a single key value pair so directly I can use browser.params.app url okay now this customer if you see this is having two setup data right like two setup data here so that's why i am putting that into a variable let's say this is customers you can use any variable that you want okay and i'm printing that just so you can see the output and after that i am looping it because this is having an array of objects right so let customer of customers so each customer will hold the data from here first set will be this one second set should be this one now how do you access so instead of customers I will use the customer because this is the individual object of these are the keys of each uh, pair actually of each loop okay so let me quickly run this so before running this I will uh, tell you one of the main advantage of using this params so let me go back to your previous framework so if you see here this customer data we used to require so we used to import the module so this CUST is nothing but the test data here whatever we have mentioned now here we have to give the proper path of that now which is uh, difficult right because sometimes you need to see worry about whether you have imported or not then you need to go to your uh, what you call free uh, test data or methods and you will see use like this this dot cust data dot customers dot first name you need to use that so now in this case you need not to do that you can directly use browser dot params dot first name you can use that or you can loop whatever you want to do like here we are doing okay so that is one benefit of that so globally you can use across your framework okay so let me quickly run this test npm run test and let's see the output so if you see it ran successfully if you see this is the entire data so this is single key value pair right which I can uh, access by using the browser.params.app url and this is the individual uh, loop actually looping customer.first name is qav customer.last name is box and customer.post code is 65789 which is coming from this params value right so each of the uh, loop it is printing like this so this is very straightforward guys so and easy to access so as you can see here I'm not importing anything here I'm using directly by using this browser dot params 
okay okay so one problem with the this particular uh, way of writing the test data is that uh, see now it is only having a small setup data right like only we have uh, two customer set but uh, in reality you might need to add more test data let's say that based on the environment whether you are working on QA staging or production you want to fetch the username and password now why is that scenario coming into the picture because let's say that you want to run Run the same set of uh, tests into different environments now the thing is that uh, for all different environments your login credentials will not remain same okay so the key way whatever the credentials are there might not work for staging the same thing it will not work when you will be testing the framework on your production environment so for that we need to maintain a different uh, test data like based on the uh, uh, what you call based on the environment it should choose the uh, particular credential so that what happens you need not to change your script I mean you need not to hard code your login credentials like um, okay if I want to run for QA ABC at the rate QA.com you need to uh, put that as a hard code and when it is staging you need to change that into some other credentials uh, so to avoid these things what you need to do you need to dynamically fetch the uh, what you call credentials from a specific file now that file could be a test file so for an instance if I show you here and so I have created one more uh, set of test data so if you go to the test data here login data now if you see here I have kept for different environments I have ke uh, kept a different username and password okay so like if you see for CI it is different for prod it is different for staging area it is a different setup credentials for QA it is different now what happens in reality now you will be having a user uh, and it's a single entry so based on what is currently selected here or what you can do even this environment you can send it from the parameters also from the command line in few minutes we will see that how we can do that okay so based on this value or based on any variable that you are getting either from the command line or from Jenkins based on that value you need to choose the username and password so this is one of the requirement now if you see here this test data is huge right now in reality what happens this is one of my test data and also in config.ts this is again now I have to keep it in a big now let's say that in the config.ts if I mention all this test data then my config.ts file would become complicated because uh, in case of debug or any other problems are there you might not able to debug or identify that in a easy manner so for that what we can do we can copy paste this particular params whatever you are seeing here into a ts file and from there we can fetch the data as a global parameters so let's see that so for this what I will do I'll create a new file and I will give that as name app globals dot ts and inside this what I will do module dot exports equal to and inside this I will put all test data like now the accessing will be diff different right like we won't be accessing like this no imports but how do the framework will come to know that the global parameters are here so for that I just need one line okay so let me show you that so inside this on prepare method what you can do you can write one browser dot app global some name you need to give equal to require and under this you will provide the path of that so test data and then you need to give that uh, app globals that's it so this one line will make your this test data this ts file as a global parameters okay so let me show you and how we can read that it's exactly same as this so let me create another eight block just so I can distinguish and let me first disable this one because we have already seen right how we can access the params now we will see how we can print the global app globals dot ts parameters okay so here everything let me change it here okay so instead of params what I will do I will put as app global app globals app global 
okay because see when we were using this params params we were using browser dot params now we are not using this test data we are using this one so that is nothing but so instead of browser it will be browser dot app global so let's go to so browser dot app global so wherever you are using params you can just replace that with app global and the rest everything will remain same now let's see how it is giving me output so npm run test So as you can see, one it block it uh, uh, discarded because I put as X. Now this will definitely should read from the app global .ts file. So you can see the same output because we have used the same test data, right? Okay, so one more uh, way of accessing this data is also there. So let me show you that one as well. So we can even get the uh, browser params variables from the command line as well like from the script itself from the script npm run test we are using right so here itself we can use the uh, if we can pass the values to the framework also so let me show you that so so we have already seen one small example of this when we are executing the shoot level uh, tests okay so if you would have seen my previous videos where we were executing through shoot level so let me show you quickly so if you see here shoot level execution so where you will say protractor space config ts space shoot equal to calc or bank or bank test so as per that this particular specs will be executing so the same concept we will use to uh, to send the param values also so let me quickly add one so for that the syntax is double hyphen and then you will use this keyword as params dot let's say app url okay and here what you can do you can add something like this okay app url for easy access now this will be acting as a variable this dollar is now what you can do here instead of npm run test what you can do app url equal to in single quote and let's say that i am putting as abc.com okay so the our actual is different right if you see the params let me go to the config.ts so this app url is like this but i want to override this one so i mean not exactly now overriding to here but whenever i use browser dot params dot app url i want to take the abc.com as a value instead of this value so let me show you that if you see here so this one i'm putting now at x because i'm not going to use this app global so if you see here so I'm using browser dot params dot app URL, right? So now this line, you observe this line, this will print this abc.com, not this value. Okay, that's what we are going to see now. Now let me run this test. okay so let me go back to that so here you can see the output is abc.com so it overridden the test data that we sent from the command line so this will help you like i was telling you right depending on this teasing environment you can uh, pass that value right so there are three ways of having this params so i would uh, suggest to use this way this ts file that is my first approach and then if you need something special uh, specialized features then you can uh, pass the parameter from the command line itself okay so you can uh, try using with your existing framework so as you would have uh, seen there is nothing much change we need it's just uh, create a uh, file and then update the uh, file path into this or import that into the config ts file so that this can be accessible throughout your uh, framework okay okay so uh, that is what i had today to show so hope this one is helpful for you guys. So stay tuned guys and do subscribe if you haven't. Uh, thanks for watching.